of the SCG, as I mentioned with me, Malcolm Blight and Ian Robertson. Let's have a look at the sides. And Malcolm, firstly, the Sydney Swans have made one change. Yes, it would appear that Tony Morwood has pulled up uh, unfit and Bayes will be taking his place. Look at the other changes they've made throughout the week. Parsons coming back as a ruckman is going to be very, very important to them and to try and get over the dominance of Madden in the last few games. Healy and Mitchell as the Rovers and Ruck Rovers, I think they're going to make the key to the game. If they can get the ball out the centre, they're going to be a real big chance against this pretty good Carlton side. Yeah, well, I think that you've picked it in one, Malcolm, with uh, Justin Madden and Parsons in the centre. The ground is not a very big one, and we've seen some pretty big scores kick. The conditions are absolutely perfect. Uh, I just doubt whether the Swans' defence can hold that brilliant Carlton forward line. That's the area that I put a question mark. Um, you know, players like Stephen Kernahan, the captain, who's taken quite a lot of marks. Wayne Johnston, Kenny Hunter and uh, David Glasscott, a goal kicker, getting around the ground a bit. And Dennis, who a lot of people don't place a lot of importance on, but he's also a good player. And that's the area that I think Carlton will win the game. I don't think there'll be much in it. I think they'll win by 29 points. All right, thank you, Ian Robertson. And put his head on the line, saying the Major's going to be 29 points favouring the Blues. Bear in mind, though, the Sydney Swans' record against Carlton up here in recent years is pretty good, and they've got a fair side in for this afternoon's game. There are going to be a number of players to watch that are in form at the moment. Let's have a look at some of them now. If leading by example is the top requirement of a league captain, Dennis Carroll would be amongst the first selected. The Sydney Swan skipper, week after week, is always amongst his side's best and with versatility a keynote, can play in many positions. Ruck rover Gerard Healy has been one of the success stories of the move to the Harbour City. Arguably the best in the game in his given position, Healy brings many other players into the game with his slick handball and will have to be closely watched. With Kappa now departed to the Brisbane Bears, the man in front of goals for the Swans is David Cordner. His great athleticism will see him in the play a lot, but the flamboyant number 39 is definitely a hard act to follow. To Carlton, versatility is certainly the keynote. Veteran Ken Hunter can play equally well in front of goals or at the other end of the ground, preventing opponents kicking them. In the Blues' many visits into state on buying sprees, he's been one of the best in the past 10 years. Wayne Johnston, too, would have to be the best to come out of the VFA in that time as well. The former Ferran player, at one time club captain at Princes Park, can swing a game off his own boot in a matter of minutes as many opponents will vouch for. And then there's David Rees-Jones, a player that fans of every other club love to hate. Hate him they can, but ignore him they can't. Any position on the field he can hold down pretty well with authority, and his demolition job on Dermot Brereton in last year's grand final was one of his best ever games. And in the conditions we have this afternoon, all of those players should be putting in some big performances. Well, there's great interest in the league ladder at the moment. I guess many people, particularly Collingwood supporters, will be watching this game with interest, besides, of course, Carlton and Sydney Swan supporters, because Collingwood, after their win yesterday over the West Coast Eagles, have stormed to the top of the ladder on percentage, but you can see Carlton there at the moment with a superior percentage to Collingwood. Should Carlton be successful today, they will go to the top of the ladder, and that just makes next week's meeting between Collingwood and Carlton just a little bit more exciting. Sydney also have the chance to live. It's a big weekend of football, round four, and we see on Monday, that's tomorrow, we have two games. St Kilda playing host to Essendon and Richmond, playing Geelong. Don't forget, of course, to check your local guides for details of telecast times. Well, it looks as though uh, the players are out on the ground. The scene is set. The crowd's building up. We'll take a break. Be back with all the action in just a moment. Welcome back. Here's the toss at the SCG. Kernahan and Carroll. Conditions absolutely ideal. A toss made just a few moments ago. One by Carroll. And so the Sydney Swans 